Yesterday. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty out. We're getting ready to go out into the world. It's cold out. Yeah. Yep. It never really snowed though, did it? Nope, never did. I snow. know some areas had snow. Good day today. Yeah, neither one of us have coats on. Nope. It's 50 degrees right now. 50. I should have had my shorts on, but. No, you're all right. Too late for that. Yeah, we got errands to run. This is the brand new Humane Society we came to the other day, but it wasn't open. I see a kitty in the window down there. See that kitty right there in the window? We're gonna go in. We're going back to the dog area, which is back here, down here, and here. We're back in here. This is, who is this, Faxi. What are their names? Caleb? No, this is Clown and Chubby Boy. Yep. Chubby Look Boy? Clown. Yeah. Chubby Boy's on the right. Look at. Hi! You look like my very first kitty I ever had named Tigger. Oh, you're so cute, too. They're all cute. Dang it. Yeah. yeah. You're so cute. You're so cute. Because you lure you in with their looks and then attack. Uh, this is the meanest cat they have. They tell people, do not go in. The cat from hell. Yes. yes. This cat, she's beautiful, but she wants to kill you. Yeah, and she's been here for six years. Oh, it's no, oh. Yeah. There's so, nobody she's ever really liked. Is anybody in staff that she likes? Uh, she kind of, but she still bite. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> this is Sacagawea. Oh, you can't have that, but you can have my Fender. You can have my Fender. Oh, somebody's mad. Yeah. Hi, Kitty. Which one is this one again? Oh, Keys. Uh, Hi, Keys. I hear you purring up here, Miss Yaddle. I see, I hear you purring. Yes, I do. Fun fact about I didn't feel too much in the dog area because it was very loud, as you heard. <laughs> we donated our dog food and our treats. And uh, the one cat, the mean one, it's got a girl that comes and visits her every week that hopefully, when she gets a place of her own, she's gonna take her. She's been here for six years. Six years. But, okay, now we're gonna head down the road. We're at the big old lake. They're down there working in the sand with the machinery. And there's guys, they have some uh, people from the jail here. I'll show you. Down here shoveling sand. Oh, there's their, there's their sheriff's van. They're all wearing bright orange. So you can see them when they run away. <laughs> They're not stupid. They know not to run away. They're all down here getting the park ready for season time. A lot of shoveling, shoveling, sand moving, lots of it. Okay, now we're going to the other beach. Now we're at a beach just down the road. This is Lions Park. Like I said, we're serve there, Chicago. They've been out here working on this sand a little bit too. They have a nice little playground here. And Dad's over here feeding the birds. Kitty's been having a lazy day. She has been holding my bed down all day long. Just a sleeping away, having her best cat life, huh, kitty? Kitty! She's not having me talk to her. She's ignoring me. Sleeping. Been the recliner. Yep, looking out the window. It's nice. It's like after 8, and it, I can still see across the street. It's so nice that it's light so late. I love it. Love it. Just got done watching the season finale of The Walking Dead. And I'm in the middle of watching the first episode of the new season of Jane the Virgin. What else did I watch? Station 19. Hmm. I think that's all. I think that's all I watched. Oh, Trading Spaces. But I kind of just watched the very beginning when they meet who's designing them. And then I fast forward to the very end and see the reveal. I could get through that in like 10 minutes. <laughs> Doesn't take me very long. Um, so, yeah. But today's been a good day. But I think this is going to be a two days in one. So, in a moment, it'll be Wednesday. Just like that. Just like that. It's the next day. 
there's a guy here outside with my dad and my cousin looking at the house. They're going to come inside and look. See what can be done to fix the front uh, wall of our home. So that's for years. Dad keeps saying, I know, I know, I know. And this year I just took the initiative and made the call. And I called Ronnie because he knows all the construction people. So the guy just got here. They haven't even made it inside the house yet. So waiting for that to happen. I'm waiting here. Excuse me. I just burped corn on the cob. Whew. All right. I'll be back. I met the guy, real nice guy. He just came in and I said, yeah, it starts in here. You can see the cracks go across. I said, this window's leaking so much, the paint's coming off. And then he, I said, here's the worst of it. We went into the living room and he goes, oh my goodness. Yes, this is something that's not good. And so dad and Ron are going over to the insurance place right now to, to file a claim. Because if we don't have some sort of insurance help because it was caused by pressure on the roof from snow. Um, but so many years ago, because it's just, ugh, dad was just, he's not good at this kind of stuff. And, um, but now he has Ronnie advocating for him and because dad doesn't know what to say or how to, how to address uh, that kind of stuff. And the, the guy who is here is a big, um, he works in insurance claims. He does, uh, houses who have been flooded or hurt in some kind of natural disaster. And, um, it's called first response. And so... Because if we don't have insurance, fixing our house is going to be like 50 grand. So we got to figure something out. Um, he's like, yeah, Ron, I could probably go on the outside of the house and push it hard enough and your whole front wall will fall in. We're like, we know. <laughs> Let's not test that theory <laughs> right yet. <laughs> so he took some video of it and yeah. Yeah. Fun times in the Humphrey household today. Now I'm waiting for them guys to come back from the insurance and see what happens. Craziness. That's just... Dad left to go deal with his sister. Even though I asked him on today not to because we were dealing with his insurance stuff. He figured since they went to the insurance office it, it was all fine. So he left. Ronnie left. Uh, half hour, 45 minutes after they left, phone rings insurance people the ones out of like Arizona who call and get more of the details and stuff and she could talk to me about a lot of things but some things specifically stuff that involves our um, our insurance policy and stuff I'm not on it so she can't talk to me about that kind of stuff and so uh, I said I'm gonna have my dad call and have me put on it so this kind of stuff doesn't happen in the future because he would have me talk to you anyway, and she would say, well, we should, we'd have to go on three-way call. Um, so I, I answered a lot of her questions. I took pictures and sent, just sent those uh, on our claim of the whole front wall, inside wall of our house. And uh, really nice lady. She was in Phoenix. And um, she's supposed to call me back here in a few, and I called Dad. I said, Dad, on your way home, I, first off, I wish you would have not have left. Because I've been dealing with the insurance lady for the last half hour or so. I said, on your way home, I need you to stop at the insurance office and put me on the policy. Dad's like, I'm just putting you on all my policies. <laughs> Everything. Car. Because <laughs> um, I'm on his bank account. I'm on the phone bill. Um, so, And I'm on his life insurance. and So he's just going to put me on here so they, they can talk to me about stuff too. I told her I said you know he's getting older he gets so confused about this kind of stuff and she goes I understand that's how my mom is getting and I and we're talking about how sometimes the kid turns into a parent a little bit and uh so I talked to her for a while got an email address to email my pictures to got her direct line now I'm waiting for her to call back Nat did you die so now I have a bunch of work orders to put in Toilets are going out left and right, people. Um, so I'm working on that now. Just got our... Oh, there was a package in the mail. I opened it because my cousin was here. He went to the he went and got the mail. And, uh, no, my dad went and got the mail. He was just here when my dad brought it back. It was in this package. And it had a note. This is Stacy for your dad or to give away to anyone... Who I know who is interested in golfing. Hope it works. 
great fun and exercise golf. It's a golf finder electronic golf course directory and it's just signed NS. They've sent me things before. Who are you? Um, anybody into golf? We have a golf course right across the street from our house. My cousin's like, I think there's an app for that. <laughs> um, I don't even know if this thing works. I haven't tried it. It says try it now, but press the on button. Maybe it needs new batteries. I've never seen anything like this. So thank you whoever sent me a golf directory thing. My cousin's like, that's unusual. I'm like, it is a little bit. <laughs> but it made me smile. I'm putting it back in the package. There's no, I don't even know what state it came from. I'm going to put it right up there. But now I must, I have crap to do before this lady calls. So this will be the end of it for today. Bye.